thing here, bonobos? Uh, these are bonobos, or sometimes called pygmy chimps. They are uh, our closest relatives. We share 99.5 percent DNA uh, with them, so you can see five, that 0.5 percent makes a big difference. But because of that, um, they are considered our closest relative. The apes uh, across the board, the orangs, the common chimp, and the gorillas all share about 98, maybe 95 percent the same DNA as we do. So today we're going to give them some enrichment, uh, gives them an opportunity to to exhibit some behaviors that they would normally in the wild. We're gonna scatter some food for foraging. We're also gonna give them some tools so that they may use these tools to uh, acquire food. And they're just uh, pieces of bamboo. Uh, we have an artificial or simulated termite mound. And a lot of the, the things that we do for the animal welfare or for their mental stimulation is kind of assimilation. It's difficult to duplicate what they would do or what would be present in their wild state. But, you know, we've built large naturalistic enclosures. Uh, we maintain the animals in uh, the same type of social situation that, that would occur in the wild with the bonobos. It's uh, multi-male, multi-female with all their offspring. So we see a lot of the natural behaviors, the uh, interactions that would occur in the wild. So I may go ahead and, and toss some of the bamboo out. And uh, this is gonna be their tool to go deep into the tubes, which of course don't have live termites or any termites at all, but different types of baby food and sometimes we use spicy barbecue sauce or spicy mustard. Um, so they'll chew on the tips to make it more like a brush so they can acquire more of the food. And um, similar to what they would do in the wild when they would uh, use a stick to acquire termites. So I'll toss a few out here and we'll see, see what they do with them. Yeah, Lana has one. Looks like she's going to the termite mound. Well, good. She's kind of the boss of the group, so she probably gets first access to the termite mound. The rest will kind of wait their turn, probably. There goes Lolita. She's got her stick, so looks like she's going to wait till Lana's done. You can see she's uh, chewing on the tip, as I described. That pull these bamboo shoots off. Yeah, they're going straight to the mouth. Yeah, and not necessarily even bamboo. Yeah. Uh, a branch, a small stick on the ground, you know, a palm frond, whatever they can use as a tool. You know, there's been uh, occasions where primates have uh, used rocks, say, to open up nuts, uh, things like that. So whatever's available. I mean, it demonstrates their intelligence, that they are resourceful.